and welcome to this half hour classic. Today we go back to 1999 and a trip to Highbury as the Reds take on Arsene Wenger's Arsenal. So sit back and enjoy the best of the action. Craig is checking on the numbers. Manchester United in their new look change shirt for this season of dark blue shirts, black shorts and socks. Arsenal in their famous red and white on the Highbury pitch which wins awards every season for its magnificence looking absolutely resplendent yet again. A little bit of a win behind Manchester United's backs as they get the fixture underway. It is Irwin finding Dwight York, Martin Keown sticking very close to him. Paul Scholes to another England international, David Beckham. The ball finds Keane. Keane onto Andy Cole. Back again to Paul Scholes in a good position here. They've got three in the box already, Manchester United. But the pass a disappointing one. First goal kick to Arsenal, Silvino closing his man down successfully. Beckham. And Beckham was fouled. The Manchester United fans on that far side not too convinced about it, but the referee had no hesitation. Stamm making his way forward for the free kick, which Beckham, I guess, will take himself. Alongside him, Ryan Giggs. It is Beckham, though, and it's a beauty, and Cole's header hits the bar. Arsenal close to conceding the first goal of the game. Andy Cole so dismayed that that stayed out as Erwin finds Scholes. On it goes to Keane. Scholes winning it back again, but he's given it away inadvertently there to Canu. And on it goes to Thierry Henry, who's got the pace to keep going here. Good save, Van der Hau. Well, talk about end-to-end -end action. We almost had a goal for both teams. Great break here, lovely ball. And Henry, once he gets in behind the last defender like that, usually doesn't miss. He did this time, but for that we have to credit Van der Hau in the United goal. The game has suddenly come to life. 15 minutes gone, it's been a cagey sort of opening, now both teams going close. Skulls, Keane, there, here's Neville. Good challenge again, this time by Silvino, Dwight York there to play the ball for Beckham, but Keown should get there first. United aren't concentrating, but they weren't there. Arsenal took the free kick so quickly. United was a little bit dozy there. And moments earlier, United thought they'd scored the first goal. Tremendous header by Andy Cole against the crossbar. And this shows how close it was. for the return ball, Bergkamp decided to go for goal, and it wasn't far away. Beautiful curl on that shot there, as you can see from the slow-mo. Carla winning it back, Canu. It's unlucky, Jungberg. Canu again. Silvino and they're backing away here but Vieira couldn't get any further than Roy Keane Henri great ball, Jungberg almost got there Skulls this is Cole Through ball for Giggs is brilliant. Well, Ryan Giggs. 
legs of all people to miss what was, at this high standard, a relatively simple chance here. It's a lovely ball by Beckham, and the awareness in running off the ball, the ball shown by Giggs was excellent, but the finish wasn't. Really thought he was going to hit the target here, Ryan Giggs. Would have preferred it on his left foot, of course, but he is a two-footed player who should have done better, even though it was his weaker side. Great ball from Beckham to set him through then. Right, York, a lovely reverse ball. Giggs will have to motor to keep this in. Lost the race. scoring record 16 last season only Nicholas and Elka scored more had he just spotted Henri there Henri shaken off his marker and was arguably in a better position to score who had helped to set things up there for Arsenal Burgeoning formation between the camp and the man in possession. Canoe looking really effective here as Canoe goes forward again and finds Henri. Good challenge by Neville. Did really well. Came to Manchester United's rescue there. His key. Cole touching it on to York in support we've got a man over here it's Beckham and here he is Scholes in the middle and maybe if Scholes had let it go on well it wouldn't have counted anyway because the Lions flag has gone up I was going to say if he let it go on White York was right behind him They're all pretty irre irrelevant keep your eye on the linesman just in the corner of the picture there he flagged instantly Canoe at the other end skill from Cano, that was exquisite Oof, very nearly an own goal well Manchester United got themselves in a mess then principally because of Cano's wonderful skills here. just look at that, brought it down beautifully, Neville with the interception almost turned it into the top corner of his own goal there the error again Jungberg Cano takes over the goals of the season if Raymond van der Howe hadn't produced such a brilliant save fabulous skill from Canu he was so far out there that was heading for the top of the net great save by the Dutchman van der Howe here's Beckham giving away to Henri pitches in the division here at Highbury so uh, wide players like David Beckham, Henry and the opposition don't get much room to manoeuvre Keown has lost the battle there and Andy Cole is in a great position oh well played Meninga that all happened so suddenly Keown for once being beaten Vieira threatening. That's a foul. Foul on Stan. But Dwight York beats Martin Keown to the challenge here. And suddenly Arsenal are exposed. Cole through onside this time. What great work by the goalkeeper. Beckham's through ball. Oh, that was an important header by Keown. But they've got it back here, Manchester United. It's goals layoff. Dwight York hits it. Goalkeeper has 
has kept Arsenal in it. Well, Dwight York must have thought another goal is on the way here. It's a lovely little ball from Scholes to set him through. He hit it well with his foot. Manninger managed to keep it out. The goalkeeper stranded there, though. Arsenal just about survived. Henning Berg close. Goalkeeper couldn't find a way through the crowd. And look for a moment as though Manchester United were going to take the lead here. Berg turning it back. Full couldn't reach the rebound in time. Stam's header. Dixon. Good ball for Canu. Berg can bump mark if he sees it. And he has. And on it goes to Jungberg. He scored. He loves playing against Manchester United. Two goals in his Highbury career. And they both come against their biggest rivals. Four minutes and a half remaining. Arsenal draw first blood. Canu inevitably playing an important part in the goal. So too did Dennis Bergkamp. Uh, a finish as cool as you like from the young Swede, Frederick Jungberg. And a rare event still for Manchester United to concede a goal and go behind in a Premiership fixture. Sadly, their supporters will tell you it's not rare enough to find themselves in that position against Arsenal, though. A perfect way to round off the first half from Arsenal's point of view. There is an unlikely looking hero with his punk rock hairstyle. But a hero he is to Highbury at the moment. Henri with a towering header. Canu doing well here. And still, a bit Good save, although admittedly it was almost straight at the keeper. But Manchester United could have found themselves a couple of goals behind here in the first half. And that was close and it almost sneaked through. seconds remaining. Beckham will take the free kick. Arsenal defended well. Scholes back into the crowd and Keown just about got it clear but it's only gone as far as Giggs. Keown's there again and now the referee finally does blow the half-time whistle and all around the stadium apart from the tiny corner where the Manchester United fans are out stand to applaud Arsenal off the field and in particular Frederick Jungberg for his goal five minutes before half time the Gunners who lead by one goal to nil and they will get the second half underway here trying to maintain their excellent record against Manchester United in recent years Silvino the left back Placement for Nigel Winterburn with the through ball over the head of Canu, coming it back by Jan Stam. Keogh, brilliant. Stuck caught on the ankle, limping as Bergkamp carries on the attack. Whoa! Produced another fine save by Raymond van der Hau. Van der Hau's never made more than two consecutive appearances his four seasons at Manchester United. He's going to have to now because uh, Bosnich is going to be out for a while yet. But he has produced an excellent display here today, the 34-year-old. But even he would have been powerless to stop that going in as Matthew Upson met the flick on. Now Bergkamp. 
Bergkamp uh, goes down, but the referee's actually given the free kick the other way. But Arsenal so unlucky not to increase their lead here. And it came from an unlikely source in the 20-year-old Matthew Upson, who's never scored in a senior game for Arsenal. He won't get a better chance than that, probably, but smashed it against the post. And Manchester United have had a let off. And go forward dangerously themselves. Ryan Giggs. I just wonder if he'd have let the header from Andy Cole go into the net without applying the finishing touch, whether the same decision would have happened. Let's have a look at the replay here. Lovely ball, wasn't it, by Beckham. Then the header by Cole. Well, actually, it would never have gone in anyway, and it almost brushed the arm, too, you have to say there, of Keown. Lee Dixon. Stamp. And he releases Cole. And on it goes to Giggs. He's onside this time. But Silvino should clean it up and does so. three times in all in his Arsenal career and he hasn't got a card of any description well well I'm amazed I really thought we'd see cards there and oh, honestly I thought we might see a red card but no the 
referee has uh, deemed it sufficient. Just to tick off the competence. We can get on with the football again. Interesting there, didn't it? Neville. And the house clearance. Keown pumping it back in again. Stam with a powerful clearance. Offside here, Dennis Burkham. I suppose you've got to applaud the referee, I'm not sure if he would, but uh, more too easily these days, referees do brandish yellow and red cards for trivial offences. I can think of a fair number of referees who would have uh, deemed either of those two flashpoints worthy of a dismissal, but Mr Paul didn't even show a yellow card. Dwight York, looking for Becker. possessed though by Giggs, danger here for Arsenal, Ryan Giggs hits it and it comes to Roy Keane and Keane has slipped home the winner, surely two and a half minutes to go the captain gets his second goal of the game and Manchester United players and fans celebrate and Arsenal caught cold Parler, one of those responsible for the errors in particular shoot, the ball deflected straight into the path of Roy Keane and there was never any doubt that Keane was going to slide it home for his second goal of the game, his second goal of the season and surely the winner and it's not very often that Arsenal can see two goals in any match, particularly here at Highbury, where remember they've gone 30 matches before today without defeat in succession. Well, I left my watch running and it's now showing 49 minutes. This could be the last meaningful action here for Arsenal. They have a free kick. It might be their final hope of an equalising goal. Controversy. Calm down is his instruction to everyone. He's gone across to his linesman to find out what his view of the incident was. Well, a real major talking point at the end here. Martin Keown told to go away. What's the linesman's view? I don't think he's allowed the goal, that's for sure. players go to the linesman concern but you can tell from the body language there that that goal has not been allowed presumably let's have a look at it again here the referee decided it was a foul that was right on the line there he had a hand on the ball as Keown turned it in now well that is highly debatable normally referees will say if the goalkeeper's got two hands on the ball then he's in possession and you can't do that but that's a very unusual sort of incident. He had one hand on the ball. The ball was on the line. Clearly, the whole of the ball wasn't over the line. Then Keown came sliding in to turn it over the line. The goalkeeper's lying injured. And the referee has pretty obviously disallowed the goal. There's evidence that it hadn't crossed the line. Well, maybe he did have a second hand on the ball. And maybe that's why the referee hasn't given it. Great header in the first place by Upson. One hand there, one hand. Then he got the second on it, just as Keown came sliding in. Matt Rice is just in lieutenant alongside him, but the man who has surely provided the key to this game is the brilliant Roy Keane. Many 
people, the best midfield player in the Premiership. <laughs> and look at the delight on Alex Ferguson's face. So here's Colkin's first kick in Premiership football, and there is the whistle, as I expected. That is the briefest debut in history. Colkin's come on, kicked the ball once, the final whistle's blown, and Manchester United have beaten Arsenal by two goals to one.